Jenna Marbles announces she's leaving YouTube and apologizes for a problematic past. But the internet thinks other influencers and other YouTubers should be leaving the internet before her. What is going on? It's your boy Andy Lawani to tell you all of your social media news daily. As you know, obviously, I hope you know at this point, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. You know the drill. Keep coming back for all your social media news daily. Let's talk about Jenna Marbles, our OG queen of YouTube and how everyone has some mixed feelings about her leaving the platform online. Now, if you don't know who Jenna Marbles is, she was one of the first creators on YouTube, joining the platform in 2010 and making over 250 videos. She paved the way for female success on YouTube and has accumulated over 1.5 billion views. Recently, Jenna has come under fire for some old content, though, where she appears to be engaging in blackface, as some have said through her fake tan, racism, and sexism. Jenna actually announced that she's leaving the platform on Thursday morning, and now a lot of fans are taking to the internet to express how they're really sad, and overall, she's taking this time to really reflect on some of the videos she's made in the past because she doesn't want to upset anybody on the platform, and it's mostly there for fun and for happiness, but just take a look at her video. There's things in my past I'm not proud of. All that matters is that people were offended, and it hurt them, and for that, I am so unbelievably sorry. It's not okay. It's shameful. It's awful. I wish it wasn't part of my past. I don't, I don't want to hurt anyone. <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone. I don't. There are actually a few specific things that she wanted to apologize in her video, so we're gonna break that down for you now as well. First thing is Jenna addresses a video of her pretending to be Nicki Minaj in a pink wig was alleged to be blackface. Jenna says she simply had a dark spray tan that day and did not intend to do blackface. She apologizes for the video nonetheless, saying it doesn't matter what her intentions were, but it matters what the impact was on her viewers. She also apologizes for an old skit where Jenna is rapping and using racial slurs while dressing in an offensive clothing and mocking an Asian stereotype. She says the video was unacceptable and has been very hurtful for her audience. She also responds to critiques of her past slut shaming saying this. I ranted about girls that ran around and slept around and that's wrong. I had a lot of internalized misogyny, I feel like, at that time in my life and I'm sorry. In addition, she even apologizes for her old series, What Girls or Guys Do, and says she doesn't intend to hurt her audience with fluid gender identities or minimize the struggles people go through with their gender identity. And the thing is, Jenna said she doesn't want to spread negativity in the world and she's going to take a break from the platform as a whole and she's private in most of those videos. So um, I think I'm just gonna move on from this channel for now. Um, I don't know if that's forever. I don't know how long it's gonna be. I wanna make sure that the things that I put into the world are not hurting anyone. A lot of her longtime fans are blaming cancel culture for her departure, saying people are attacking for her old videos when she's proven over time she's gotten to be a better person. One tweet said, quote, while I agree in life that actions should be held accountable, Jenna has shown to be a vastly different person than who she was almost 10 years ago. Another person saying, quote, Jenna Marbles leaving YouTube because people claim they want to hold people accountable, but when those people actually change, it's not good enough. And people are also pointing to prove that Jenna has grown and been a better person over the year through her past videos and videos she's recently made. On May 31st of this year, actually, Jenna tweeted in support of the Black Lives Matter movement and encouraged her followers to sign petitions for the cause. When YouTube was accused of censoring LGBT content creators, Jenna tweeted, quote, YouTube can't be transparent because that would mean admitting to marginalizing a giant group of people for a profit. People are asking, citing this video clips from Cocktails with Chloe as evidence that she's changed from her past racist videos. Wow, thank God. Oh, I think wow. Yeah, well, whoa. Whoa. That is way heavy. Okay. I think you should be able to pick a new car. Get right into it. No, let's not. Because <laughs> how have I contributed? If I just like throw this card away, I'm contributing to privilege. You're talking about the race card? White privilege is a privilege, and if you don't acknowledge it, that's contributing to the problem. It's not a victimless crime. That was a great answer. Thank Thank you. Was a great answer. What was the answer that was insane? A lot of people are also saying that it's not a white fan's privilege to accept the apology of blackface and Asian stereotyping, and it's also important to address these issues head on. One user tweeted, quote, why are you blaming toxic cancel culture for Jenna holding herself accountable? And quote, she did bad stuff, so she needed to apologize for it, and she did. Where does cancel culture come from? Does blackface not deserve an apology? Another user said, quote, yeah, white people, it's not your place to forgive Jenna. Blackface and racial stereotypes do not affect you. And lastly, quote, people are upset because someone they enjoy watching is leaving while overlooking the fact that while it's cool she apologized, black people aren't obligated to upset. And it's obviously there's rights and wrongs to both sides and people are admitting that 2012 videos and even more videos that she's had it's important that she makes an apology and overall we learn from it and grow from it and go on from there. Jenna's apology video has caused people to demand other YouTubers with unaddressed problematic past to follow her lead to take accountability. 
One tweet says, quote, you're telling me Jenna Marbles is quitting YouTube and yet people like Trisha Paytas and Jeffree Star are still on the platform. Shane Dawson has some pretty shocking videos that are resurfacing from his past where he clearly does blackface and use the N-word as some fans have pointed out. Jeffree Star has also been involved in a lot of serious scandals over the years. As videos surface with him using the N-word, calling women slurs and shaming their sexuality, Trisha Paytas is also coming under fire for past blackface and racial stereotypes, accusations of her offending the transgender and LGBT communities at large, and mocking the mental health community and faking illnesses. People believe if anyone's going to leave YouTube and apologize for their past, these three should step away, at least be included with Jenna Marbles, and step away for a short time from the platform. So overall, what do you what do you all think? We want to know. Obviously, I'm saddened as well to hear about Jenna Marbles, you know, leaving the platform, but again, I do agree that she should have at least confronted it and talked about it and, you know, whatever her path is deciding to come back to the platform or not, she needed to at least address and make an apology for her fan bases and many people she obviously made feel less in those videos. But for more Social Media Daily, follow me at Amy Luani and follow us at What's Trending for more Social Media Daily.